Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I, I have, I'm so excited. I get like lost my words there. I am resurrecting my everyday makeup drawer series. I started this series a long time ago and I feel like I keep trying to resurrect it and then I'm like, uh, and I don't know how I keep just forgetting to film them. I want to do these every single month. That's the way I used to do it. A lot of you guys found me through my everyday makeup drawer series and I'm sad that I've like let that piece of my history go. So I'm resurrecting it for real this time. I need you guys to hold me accountable each month. Tweet me, snap me, whatever, and say, hey, don't forget everyday makeup drawer this month. So this is going to be the one for March and I'm so excited. I don't know about this series. Um, I started it a long time ago. A lot of other YouTubers now do it and I love watching them and people have made it their own. I mean, it's so amazing. But when I started it, the idea was just that it's the drawer right in front of me or right next to me, depending on my setup at the time. But it's full of the products that I'm trying to use. Now for me, these are not necessarily every single thing I need to get ready. I still pull into my regular collection because I like opening my primer drawer and seeing all my primers and getting to pick. So it's not that I'm only using these. I know some people do that that way. For me, it's just products I want close at hand right there so I rem I'm reminded to use them, whether it's products I've forgotten about, new products I'm trying out, or just favorites that I know that I want right there, like my Beauty Blender. I use it all the time. I want it right there. Things like that that I want close at hand. So I'm going to shut up. Without further ado, let's get into my everyday makeup drawer for March 2017. So this is my vanity. The things that are actually on top of it varies every like day, but it's typically at least my makeup brush holder, my plant, and my little tart warmer that I got, I think from like Walmart for like 20 bucks. Sometimes I'll have my like, I have like a lip gloss holder. Sometimes I'll have that up there, sometimes I won't. It just kind of moves around, but I do like how simplistic it is. So I have two drawers here. I bought the desk from Hope Look, which I can link below. They have really cheap um, makeup and furniture and stuff like that. But um, let's go ahead and get into these two drawers. So this is the right drawer here. And so I've got these, so I have these little holders here I got from, I think the container store and then the dollar store. They're both the exact same. But in here I usually keep mascaras. I have a bunch open at the minute. I have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara that I've really grown to like. It just needed a few weeks to dry out, which is pretty close to a dupe for my favorite IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Honestly, this stuff is old. And every time I close, I don't even want to open it because every time I close it, it seeps out the side. So I have to wipe it off every single time. It drives me nuts. But this mascara is so good. But I do like the Lash Princess and it's way, way cheaper. And then I also have what I'm wearing today, which is this Clarins mascara. It's their Mascara Supra Volume. And this one also needed a few weeks to kind of dry out a bit. But it really is nice. I really have grown to like this. So, I have my mascaras in there. I have two brow products in here. My Hourglass Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Ash. I use every single day. Love that. And then for more detailed work, this one's smaller. It's the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Medium Brown. Honestly, I use the spoolie on this more than anything because I love it. But, so, that's what's in there. I also have my little e.l.f. makeup removing. Whoa! It's the one downside. These things get lost back here. I have my e.l.f. makeup removing pen that I love. I have like five of these on backup. I have my favorite drugstore liner. It's the Milani Stay Put pencil liner. I love the packaging. I have flown through this though because I'm constantly sharpening it, but I love it. This I'm trying out. It's new to me. It's the Hourglass. Let me just set this in there. It's the brand new Hourglass Voyeur waterproof liquid liner. They sent this to me recently. Um, very, very black, the kind of felt tip that I really like. Of course, the packaging is beautiful. Hourglass's packaging always is, but, so I don't know how I feel about this. I'm still trying it out. And then this I got from Octoly for free. It's this Clarins Stilo. It's, oh, four color all-in-one pen for eyes and lips. So you push it down, and it's a black one, and then you can get rid of that. And then they have a brown one. Isn't this cool? And you can kind of raise the actual pencil as well. Then they have a blue one. Isn't that blue beautiful? And then they have this, they say this one's more for lips. It's more like a nude color. But I thought this was so fun. So let me know if you want a review on this. I mean, it really is just kind of a fun tool. I'm gonna kind of get on my knees here. I'm getting old. All right, so right next to it is kind of more like powdery type products. I just got a bunch of Smashbox products from Hot Look for 50% off. Um, I mentioned that twice, but I love it. I use, I've used it for years. It's where I get a lot of my makeup. Um, but it's this 
Fusion Soft Lice Lights, and it's in Baked Starburst, and it's just really pretty, kind of highlight. I haven't really used it yet. It does have more of a bronzy tone, but it's just really pretty, so I'm excited to use that. I got it for half off, so I was like, why not? Another thing that have lived in here a while, because I'm still trying them out, these are the Revlon blushes. I have Rosie Rendezvous, which is totally up my alley. Bronze Beauty, which is, of course, more of a bronzer. And then I have Orchid Charm, which is a little bit darker than I typically wear. Um, these aren't like crazy swatch heavy, but they look really natural on the skin. So I'm, I'm still kind of liking them. Um, all right, next thing is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. I like this. One of the better drugstore powders. I don't use powder every day like this. I usually use loose powder, but it really is nice and it's surprisingly finely milled. I have it in the shade Warm Light. Um, I'm also continuing to try out my Essence Pure Nude highlighter that I recently got. It's a more natural highlighter, but it does kind of pack a punch there. You can't really see it in swatches, but it's really pretty, so I've been loving that. And then I'm also trying out this Juice Be Beauty. Um, I got it in the subscription box. The Last Looks Cream Blush in Flush. It's a really pretty natural color cream blush. I love this kind of a shade. Isn't that beautiful? I've only worn it once and I really, really liked it, but I, of course, want to keep trying it out. So back here is the Mary Luminizer. Well, it's the three different luminizers. They sent me a bunch of products recently. Um, all, you know, like a highlight blush and bronzer, but they're all really shimmery, so, it, you know. I don't know. Like, I could never wear that as a bronzer, but it's still really, really pretty. So I'm trying those out. I also have my beloved Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Edit. I love the packaging. I love every product in here. I use this all over the face. This is more of a highlight. And then any of these for blush. This is even kind of bronzery if you wanted it to be. I mean, it's kind of in between. I love it. Sometimes I'll just swirl, swirl my brush through the entire thing and put it all over my cheeks. I love this. And I love... The big mirror as well. I like to travel with that. Now I have my eyelash curler back there. I have my little blenderell. Um, that you can. It's just a beauty blender holder. It could totally just like stand, but it also fits in there. So I like to keep it in there. All right. So kind of zoomed in a little bit. Another new Smashbox product for me is the LA Lights Blendable Lip and Cheek Color. It's called Hollywood and Highlight. I mean, obviously this is more of like a highlight cheek color, not a lip color. But I think they have ones that are more lip based. Then there's like this sponge here that you can kind of blend it with which I think is kind of cool actually I haven't tried it yet because it's still very new to me that's why it's in the store this I got in the subscription box it's this Ven Effect anti-aging lip treatment supposedly it helps like get rid of vertical lines in your lips it's just a white little balm here I'm actually putting it on my lips right now because they need it <laughs> all right it does feel crazy on the lips it feels awesome there's not much in there though you can tell but I'm trying that out then I have my beloved Kevin Aquan sculpting powder but it's in the shade light i'm wearing this today i absolutely love it it's the perfect tone for lighter skin and then i have <laughs> my luna highlighter a lot of these were in my favorites because well i love them it's this unbelievably what color is it it's called calypso again i got it in a subscription box it's kind of like a taupey highlight it is so so pretty oh i have my really cool Apparently there's gunk on them though. Um, Tweezerman light up little tweezers. I love these bad boys. I can like find every hair with that light. Um, and then again, another new product from Smashbox. You'll see a few of these. Um, it's their contour kit I got for like 50% off. So there's the contour bronze and highlight that they have. I haven't tried it yet. I've just kind of swatched it. So very, very new to me. Then I've got my, now I'm getting on my knees again. All right. My RMS Beauty Master Mixer. I use this as kind of a more bronzy highlight. It's just a really pretty, you just kind of pat it onto your skin and it just looks so, so pretty. I also have the Living Luminizer one. They have a new like champagne, like rose gold champagne one that I want to get. I'm trying to hold back, but I really want it. But I feel like it would have to look similar to that one. Next things I love, these are my Milani Keep It Sweet Lip Scrub and my uh, Keep It Smooth. These are the Lux Lip Treatments. These are incredible, incredible, incredible. I love this scrub. It's the, They both smell like a dream, and they work really well. I mean, I when I run out of these, I will repurchase them again and again. Next product is this NYX eyeshadow base in white. It's just a really creamy 
eyeshadow base, really white, does a great job of holding onto your eyeshadow but also making it really pop. I kind of switch between this and my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, but I, I kind of, I really do like this. Then I have my L'Oreal Lacquer Liner. It's my favorite black gel cream type eyeliner I use every single day. I just have a bunch of odds and ends, some sharpeners, a little mirror, um, you know, scissors, contacts, etc. And I think that is it for this drawer. Let's move on to the next one. Here is my left drawer. This one's got a lot of face products, but also some lip products and some eye products. So, so that really kind of runs the gamut, doesn't it? All right, so let's start over here. I've got my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. What other foundations? Oh, I just got this in the mail again from home. Um, this Alginist basically tinted moisturizer. It definitely does not have high coverage because it is a tinted moisturizer, but I really, I've only worn it like twice. I really do like it though. It has microalgae and a bunch of other stuff um, that I'm not sure how my skin reacts to it yet, but I'm liking it. So in there so that I can try it out more. I got a bunch of new primers. I have so many primers and I just bought more. But the Smashbox Photo Finish came in a kit with that contour thing. So excited to give this a try. I used to love this a long time ago, but I've actually, it's always been trial sizes that I had. So I'm excited to have the full size of that. And then I just bought on a whim this NYX Hydra Touch primer because I love hydrating primers. And it's very much reminds me of my Smashbox hydrating primer. It's got a similar color to it. Um, although, I mean, really it's clear but it feels really nice. I haven't used it on my face yet, so I'll have to get back to you, but I love how hydrating it feels. Next is another new one for me, the e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. I'm curious if this is similar to the other purple-like primers that are out there, so again, I'll have to get back to you, but I have worn this on my face, and it comes out like dark purple, which cracks me up, but of course it blends away, but it's very um, softening and just, uh, I like the way it feels. Uh, my favorite, my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. I love, I put this all over my nose to fill in the pores around there before I put on foundation. This I'm still trying out, the Hard Candy Coconut Water Primer Stick. This is, again, just really hydrating. It's like a stick form of like a hydrating primer like that. So I can put this just like in my on my forehead where it's really dry and just get some extra hydration in that region. Also have my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I use this just as a moisturizer, not really as a primer, but I put this on once I get out of the shower and I sit down to do my makeup. This is the first thing I put on my face. Um, this I got through Octoly. It's the Pure No Filter Blurring Photography Primer. Um, this is a very, um, it's got a like dropper, um, kind of a yellow toned cream, very illuminating. Not glittery, but illuminating. And it's really, really pretty and it has that golden tone. I've only used it just as a targeted highlighter, not just all over my face. I don't know if I'll ever use it all over my face, maybe, but it is really pretty and I think the packaging is pretty too. I also have my Milani setting spray that I love. I use every single day. I have this Clinique Pep Start Eye Cream that I don't really love or hate. I'm just kind of using up as my eye cream for the daytime. And then one of my favorites, the Kat Von D Locket Concealer Cream. This stuff is amazing. I just filmed a video about this. Um, if it's up, I'll link it below. Comparing this to the Tarte Shape Tape. I love the applicator. It's high coverage, really blendable, really comfortable, a million shades. It is awesome. I think that's everything in here. Um, I just got these as well. Well, pretty recently. Milk sent me all of their little eye pigments. I'm just going to swatch a couple. These are amazing. I don't have all of them in this drawer because there's like a blue and a bright green. Products that I'm not, or colors I'm really not going to wear every day. Look at that. This is the shade After Party. Oh my gosh. This is the shade. Well, this is like my favorite. This is Gig. These are so gorgeous. I have worn these on my eyes and um, they are stunning and they do not budge. So amazing. I'm sure I will film some kind of review video about those. So just sit tight. All right, swatches are cleaned off. Next, I have just some random lip products. So I've got my Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Never Petal Down. I love these gel liners. I have every shade. This is one I really haven't tried much, so I wanted to try. We're almost to spring, so I've got wishful thinking, so I have a nice rosy color. And then I have this Stila Stay All Day Lip Liner. Uh, what's the shade? In Pinot Noir. And it's a, just a nice blue-toned red lip liner. So I'm trying that out still. I'm also trying out the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip 
plumper. I don't know the shade, it doesn't say, but it's just like a nice kind of mid-tone bluish pink. And then, and it's really more of a plumper and a gloss. It doesn't really have a ton of pigment. I'm also trying out the e.l.f. Tinted Lip Oils. I really like this shade in Nude Kiss. Just a really simple, just comfortable on the lips. And they do have that kind of chair-like um, applicator, which I like. Uh, next up, back here I have my oof, Physicians Formula Youthful Wear Powder that I love in the illuminating finish. It's got good coverage, but it makes your skin look like alive and kind of not dewy, but just nice. It doesn't mattify, which I like because I already have dry skin. This is the little Z palette I got through BoxyCharm in the box. And then I just have a bunch of different colors in here. Some of them aren't marked, so I don't remember where I got them. Isn't that horrible? This is Max Brune. This is Cherry Cola from Makeup Geek. That is beautiful. Prom Night from Makeup Geek. Oh, that's Soft Brown from MAC. Don't know what that is. Cork from MAC. I think this is Brulee from MAC. No name. I think this is a no name too. Um, yeah, so I don't know if, I don't know where I got them to be honest, but just a few that I randomly picked out to keep in here just because I wanted to try them out. I think that's a cool combo of colors too. Next, again, I got this for half off on Hot Look. It's the Double Exposure Palette. I literally have only swatched this. I haven't used it yet. So, really pretty. I remember I used to own the original Full Exposure Palette, and there was a lot of fallout. So, I'm hoping... I mean, it looks like there's a little bit of powder. I'm okay with it. I can get over fallout because, like, my Lorac palettes do as well. But, you know, it's always nice when they don't have it. But these are some pretty colors together. And then I also have my Hard Candy Palette in... Um, what is it called? It's their Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. And it just has all of these colors, all matte, really cool colors together. So I've used this a couple times and I've really liked the looks that I have come up with. So those are just some business cards. So that is everything in that drawer as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I love doing them. If you want to watch my old ones, I have done one semi-recently. Uh, but I will link that below as well as my entire playlist of them. And other than that, I hope that you'll subscribe to catch my future ones every single month. And catch me on my social media in the meantime and say hi. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.